Hello, we shocking gamers here. We've got a cobble generator today. We're going to show you how to make it. SGZ Eliminated was going to build it, and I'm going to film it. So let's get started. Main ingredients you're going to need for this: you're going to need a bucket of lava, a bucket of water, four redstone repeaters, ten redstone at least, a piston about 14 cobblestone and one stone button or a wooden button entirely up to you. Right here with the repeaters you have to open them up three times so they're on maximum. This part's optional you can have it a bit longer than this or a bit shorter than this it's entirely up to you. One thing we will point out, the reason why we've put that hole there, is in a minute, SGZ eliminated, we'll be putting a bucket of water there, and lava there, but if you don't have that hole there, the water goes all the way across and makes obsidian, which you really don't want. So if you put that hole there, it's guaranteed cobblestone. With this on the Xbox 360, you may get a bit of lag with the cobblestone generating, but it's not too much of a problem. We prefer to have our buttons on this side. And we will point out the cobblestone will only go so far until it blocks. We prefer to put a bit of obsidian at the end, as the piston cannot move. The obsidian. Obviously we can't really show you the full detail of, of it as we're in creative mode but as you can see you can see what we're on about with the lag. Sometimes it'll move it, sometimes it don't. And all you will have to do is just stand here with a pickaxe mining but make sure your pickaxe is touching the obsidian. It won't do any damage just tapping it, but try not to break it. And to cut off the circuit, you have to break the corner of the redstone. Well, it doesn't have to be the corner, it can be any part of the redstone of your choice. But preferably this part here. It will stop the whole circuit. And I believe it's as easy as that to make the cobble generator. Thank you for watching. 